Hi, this is Pattu from Free FinCal and in this video, let's talk about how to review the performance of a mutual fund quickly using uh, value research. And we will use HDFC top 100 fund as an example. Uh, uh, to be frank, this is a extreme example of uh, poor performance, but uh, well, what I'm gonna say will apply to any fund and you can uh, quickly uh, review the performance. So um, I say quickly review the performance because uh, in my uh, performance reviews, I use rolling returns and uh, many people uh, tend to complain that I, I have a lot of uh, technical stuff. I talk about fingerprinting analysis, downside protection, downside capture and so on. Uh, many people uh, prefer something simpler. So if you like that and if you want to quickly review the performance of a fund, you can do that straight away from the fund page at Value Research. Uh, go to the performance tab and uh, if you go to the HDFC top 100 uh, performance tab, this is the graph you'll get. Uh, just a quick note that this fund was previously known as HDFC uh, top uh, 200 fund and it, it had uh, BSE 200, uh, if I recall right, as the benchmark. So it can invest uh, anywhere in the top 200 stocks, but now it can only invest 80% uh, of its portfolio in the top 100 stocks of the NSE or the, the uh, BSE, so the top 100 stocks in, uh, in terms of free float market capitalization. So uh, uh, when it started out, it was kind of a mid capish kind of fund, but uh, after the 2008 crisis and uh, uh, when the market recovered in 2009, just after the elections, the, there was a lot of inflow uh, into this fund and uh, probably because of that, uh, Prashant Jain could not uh, handle the, uh, uh, the excess inflows uh, that's only a speculation uh, so it uh, gradually changed itself into a large cap fund even before the SEBI regulations uh, came up uh, but it still has about 14,700 uh, crores of AUM that's still impressive I don't know why I have a feeling that uh, many people uh, you know when they find that a performance of a fund is dropping they do not completely exit out. They keep the old units there, I don't know, for sentimental reasons, it's stupidity, uh, but they start investing in a new fund. I think much of this AUM, if I'm not wrong, is uh, probably because of SIPs and old AUM that people like to kind of keep there and uh, hope for a recovery. Well, um, so we're gonna look at uh, the trailing return chart in the performance tab. And this is, if you know, if I hover the, over the graph, you can see that, uh, the red is the fund and the black is the nifty 100 total returns index. This is the uh, new benchmark for this fund since uh, June uh, 2018 or so. However, uh, uh, being a top 200 fund in the past, it should have uh, comfortably bet nifty 100 uh, since it was an active fund. Uh, but we're going to see that's not the case. So when we, uh, so this is an interactive graph and uh, there are so many things you can do with it and quickly learn from it if you know how to use it right. So I'm gonna show you, uh, first of all, the one, I'm gonna uh, click that one year right there. And this is the one year window. So the last one year window, that's called the trailing uh, one year period. And you can take this, uh, uh, you know, can you, you can take this bar here and slide it and you will be able to see one year windows in the past. So basically, you're, you are by sliding it, you're actually doing a rolling return analysis. And you can see that it's not been doing well for one year. It's been it's been struggling to beat the Nifty 100. Uh, sometimes it has, sometimes it does not, and so on. Uh, so we can do it for three years. And you can go all the way back. And you can see in the last three years, it struggled uh, to beat. So last one year, it uh, terrible underperformance. Last three years, uh, it has barely uh, managed to keep uh, keep up. Last five years, it, it has tried to shoot up above the index, but then it fell back. Sh tried to sh uh, move up, then it fell back. And it, so it's just a little bit of outperformance, not more than that. And seven years again, that's, uh, you see, it's, it's really not risen above the uh, index at all. So th that's why I said this is an extreme case of underperformance. And um, 10 years again, 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 it's just managed to beat just a little bit. So, I mean, uh, so if you're still holding units of this fund, uh, uh, if you still believe that this fund is going to beat uh, nifty 100 total returns over the long term, there's really no evidence that it will. I don't care who the fund manager is. I don't care what kind of long term view they have. Uh, I, I, simp I think uh, the, I mean, there's no evidence that uh, the fund can outperform the nifty 100 for the last 10 years, that's uh, that's a lot, right? So let's just move this 10 year window back a little bit. You can see that's, see, 
2900 you can see the wind that's that looks better doesn't it you can see it's going to look better and better and better as i move back it looks better it looks better it looks better and you see that that that's the kind of performance that people have been used to with prashant jain's fund so people who invested around 2003 2004 2005 they would have expected this kind of performance but uh, uh, for those investors the last 10 years has been terrible look at that for those kind of investors or even for investors who started in 2008 8 9 or after this so this is the recovery so for people who uh, went to this fund uh, after the 2008 crash recovery Uh, they have had a very poor uh, experience um, with this fund so this is the way you can quickly look at the performance and one um, quick thumb rule i have given in my uh, resolve uh, series which is analogous to reassemble not many people know that i have another series called resolve uh, it's not as popular as reassemble so but i uh, i have mentioned that look give yourself 3 years after you start investing in the fund from the date of you start investing Uh, wait for three years, and in those three years, if the fund does not outperform the uh, its own benchmark, exit fully. Don't just stop investing and leave the units there. Exit fully in one shot and move to a new fund. Do not clutter your portfolio. That's why that's how people uh, unnecessarily diversify the portfolio and clutter it up. Just if you think the fund is doing bad, if you think you do not have any conviction that your uh, performance will recover in the in the future. exit in one shot and move to another and start investing in another fund uh, just don't uh, hold on to uh, funds you do not have conviction in so this is the problem and you can use this interactive graph to uh, measure study the rolling returns let's look at the five year uh, return so this is look at that let me let me just move this back a little bit you see that again again there's a poor poor period there so you can see i'm actually visually looking at the rolling returns but it's a lot more graphical than point to point so when i uh, do the rolling returns in my posts i'm calculating the return from this point to that point that's a, the return for that this 5 year window that is between october 11th 2011 to october 20th 2016 but you can now see visually the that uh, what happens to the nav uh, within that 5 uh, year window you can see that it's it's been terrible so you can actually from 2011 itself or 5 years this fund has been doing terribly bad uh, and i I'm, i'm i'm with with respect to the nifty 100 uh my i mean the the, the nse 200 or the bse 200 will have 100 more stocks and many of them will be mid caps right earlier it used to have a lot of mid caps but now it is uh, because of the aum inflow it's kind of moved to the uh, large cap uh, domain early, much before the sebi regulations as i mentioned earlier so i think this will have a, a terrible time uh, trying to uh, beat the nse uh, 100 total returns index unless the market zooms up or the fund managers picks uh, come good so but i think that's a chance that you should not take so that's the last time it had had that good performance just uh, you know around the uh, 2008 crash and recovery and so on after that it has it has fallen badly so uh, so with respect to hdfc top 100 i think uh, uh, i think if you hold it get out of it uh, and uh, this is the way you can do uh, rolling returns analysis using the tools at uh, value research or at morningstar so i'll catch you again in another video bye bye